Well, what we saw there were black cockatoos. I'm pretty sure they were the uh, red or yellow tail ones, but there was about six or seven of them. Oh, mate, that was pretty cool. I'm actually, I'm actually in the Karingai Chase National Park here in Sydney, New South Wales. As you can see, it is quite spectacular. And got the moon up there. Um, but they were black cockatoos. They're bigger than the sulfur crested cockatoos. They're a lot bigger. And as you can, as you heard, they have a different uh, sound to the cockatoos, the sulfur ones. The sulfur's a real, a real harsh sound there. A lot more. I, I, I like them to sound like a horse. But that was a perfect timing. I just. I wish the zoom was better on this one. Beautiful. we have there what we have there is a bull ant the one ant you don't want to meet because they are the most meanest most vicious ants you could ever come across they are a member of the wasp family and as you can see he's all by himself so he's all by himself He's all by himself because they're solitary foragers. In other words, they go and scavenge, hunt for food, to bring it back to the nest. But they will defend their nest quite vigorously. Bull ants have, very, as you notice, his mandibles are just, mate, they're big. They're very big, the mandibles. And what happens? When they bite you, and I've been bitten by one of those buggers, and I can tell you now, it is one of the most painful, painful experiences I've ever had in my life. They'll grab you with their mandibles and their stinger. I remember, they are a member of the wasp family, so they sting like a wasp. The stinger is in the, uh, inside the body, comes out, and they will sting you repeatedly. And from painful personal experience of that, it is very painful. But while they're stinging you, it's also releasing a chemical which acts like a radio signal, which then gets alerts all his mates. And now come along and join the fun. That is one ant you do not want to meet. You don't want to meet that ant. Oh mate, that's a bull ant, and they do have a venom, and uh, you won't die, but it makes you sick. But I think it's very rare occasions a person has died having a reaction to the venom. So, oh, oh, oh. oh don't want to go. Oh, no. I to this day, it's the most painful insect sting bite I've ever experienced in my life. I've been stung by bees, wasps. That. Oh.